Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and today I want to talk to you a little bit about the Spengali deck. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Uh, really quick, I uh, just want to make a short video about the Spengali deck because um, oftentimes the Spengali deck comes in a uh, magic kit, right? You get a magic kit, you're going to get a, a one-way force deck, it's usually a Svengali deck. It's usually not that good. It's usually cheap paper printed in China. It's not a good deck. And uh, they give you a little booklet, right? They get a little, give you a little booklet. Maybe there's 10 tricks or so, but really you're only ever going to do one, right? Because it's a one-way force deck. The force is always going to be the same. Uh, can I offer you just a little bit of advice? Um, first thing is get a better deck. Get a better one. Um, you can get all kinds of Svengali decks. Uh, this is one that's made by Copag, but uh, you can get them in Bicycle as well. I have a different one over here that's a Bicycle brand. Um, you can get all kinds, and if you just go down uh, to a good magic store like Penguin Magic, you're going to get a nice deck, a nice full-size poker deck, something that's got air cushion finish, someone, something that's been printed really well that has good action, something that when you cut the cards, you're always going to hit your... You're always going to hit your force card every single time because it's been cut well. Um, spend spend some money and get um, get a better Svengali deck. Okay, that's my first suggestion. Buy a better one. Just as a for instance, here's another one that I have. This is going to be a bicycle deck, right? But it's blue backed, and so it's gonna it's gonna look like a deck of cards that you'd get from the grocery store. That's what you want, right? You want a deck of cards that looks like the same deck that everyone else in the world uses, okay? But it's also a magic deck, right? Because you're gonna be able to cut your cards and hit your force card every time, okay? So get a better Spengali deck. Go to penguinmagic.com, get a better one, okay? That's my first suggestion. My second suggestion is get more than one, okay? If this is a deck you like, if this is a deck you enjoy, if this is a deck that works for you, and this is a, a fun way for you to force cards, then probably you're going to end up doing some tricks for the same audience. So get more than one. They're not that expensive, and as a force deck, it's a great one. So get different force cards. So if you've already, if you have a deck, right, and my like my force card right here is the Five of Clubs. Let's say you did a trick for your, you know, your girlfriend or your boyfriend, and you already did the five of clubs trick. Well, now you can go back and get that your second Svengali deck, and you can do an eight of diamonds trick, right? So they're not that expensive, and there's no there's no rule that says you only have to have one, right? So get more than one. Get more than one. Um, there's also different types of Svengali decks out there. Uh, there's the Pop Eyed Popper and the Mirage deck. So these are different versions of the Svengali that uh, you can purchase. So for instance, uh, Mirage deck right here. The great thing about the Mirage deck is you can spread it across and show every face, okay? You can't do that with a standard Svengali deck, right? You'd end up seeing the force card. So whether it's the uh, face down spread or the face up spread, in, in something like this, you know, you could just show uh, the cards and say, hey, they're well mixed, right? Every card's different. I just want you to uh, touch the back of any card. So they stopped on that card. You can turn the top card up, show them the card that was theirs. You could then cut the card to the middle, right? And apparently lose it, right? And it's completely gone. But then uh, it's always going to appear back on top because it's your force card, right? It's right there. So uh, the Mirage deck is a really cool Svengali style deck, okay? The other one is the Popeye Popper. Popeye Popper is also a really cool, I'm gonna say Svengali style deck. And it's exactly the same as the Mirage deck, okay? You can literally show all the faces and not have to worry about showing your uh, force card and they can point to any card back and you will always come to a force card. But um, it's just not, this deck isn't, um, isn't cut the same as a Svengali deck. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little wrong to say 
that this is Svengali because it's not, it doesn't really have the Svengali uh, cut, but, but the action is the same. Okay, that, that's what I'm talking about. The force, the way you force the cards is the same. And any trick you can do with a Svengali deck, you can do with a Mirage. Any trick you can do with a Svengali deck, you can do with a Pop-Eyed Popper. Okay, they're just, they're just different versions. So if you like the Svengali deck, but you've always wanted to be able to show the faces, um, look for a Mirage or a Pop-Eyed Popper. Next, I would say get some other material. You need more tricks, right? So you can actually get a little inexpensive book from Royal Magic that says it's 101 Amazing Magic Tricks with a Svengali deck. So if you are down there at Penguin Magic and you're buying a new Svengali deck for yourself, pick up a little book like this. This is going to give you a ton of tricks. It's certainly going to inspire you to come up with your own tricks. Again, because there's only one Force card, you're not going to overuse this, okay? You're going to find some fun favorites in here and you'll use those. And obviously, you'll do them on people that haven't seen you perform before because uh, otherwise you're forcing the same card over and over again. So this is a nice inexpensive book to get. If you want to spend um, a little bit more money and you want to get a book that's really going to help you out, I'm going to always recommend The Encyclopedia of Card Tricks by Gene Huggard. So this book is your card magic bible. And if you're a card magician, if you like uh, trick decks, real decks, um, this is what you want. This is really what you want because um, this has everything in it, okay? I'm just gonna briefly show you the table of contents. So impromptu card tricks, spelling card tricks, do as I do, key cards, slick cards, um, double backs, double faces, one-way back design, reverse cards, math tricks, prearranged decks. Chapter 13 is magic with a Svengali pack of cards. And you get a ton. Many tackle, stripper, um, special packs, miscellaneous tricks. This is, this is the Bible, okay? This is the Bible for card magic. And so one purchase, right, will give you Svengali and stripper and standard, many tackle, other, other trick decks. And like I said, the Svengali tricks you learn right? The Svengali tricks you learn will also work with a Popeye Popper deck, will also work with a Mirage deck, will also work with a standard Gaff deck, uh, a Svengali deck. And like I said, again, buy a better one, buy more than one, buy some material, and take your Svengali deck uh, knowledge to the next level. So that's everything I can say about uh, Svengali, at least to get you started right? At least to give you a nice push and get you off and running. Uh, if you're watching this and you're, you have your own ideas about either a good Svengali deck to get or another style that's similar or even some good material, please place a helpful comment down below. That would really help all of us. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, would you like to learn a magic trick? You would. Did you know I have a second channel? That's right. I have a second channel where I teach beginning level magic tricks. Magic Channel Card Tricks is a place that you can go to to learn tricks with ordinary items you can find around the house. Paper clips, rubber bands, pens, and of course, decks of cards. I teach beginning level card tricks, simple card tricks, simple card forces that anybody could learn. I also review magic kits. So if you go buy a magic kit from the store, uh, your local Walmart or Target, uh, or you get a magic kit for Christmas, I'll go over exactly what's inside. And I'll even teach you how to perform with some of those tricks that you get inside those kits. Plus, I'm even gonna give you video instruction to very simple, very inexpensive tricks that you can pick up at your favorite magic store. Sometimes you get those tricks and the instructions are just on a tiny little piece of typewritten paper and you have no idea how to do that trick. Don't throw that trick away. Don't put it in a box. Come back to Magic Channel Card Tricks and I will teach you how to use that trick as well. Or maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you're not a beginner, but maybe you have a niece or a nephew or a little brother or sister that is, that you could share this channel with them. This is a great, safe place kid-friendly, where they can learn beginning-level magic. Make sure you head on over to Magic Channel Card Tricks. Give my videos a like. Subscribe to that channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being a part of Magic Orthodoxy.